Hi guys, this is um, the Frosty's friends, and uh, I'm going to create a builder and stub, um, which is what he did in C sharp, but I'm uh, going to do it in C++. So, yeah, let's start off um, with the stub. So this is the program um, which reads in the data and uh, outputs it. Uh, so we're going to do an empty project. So I don't need any of that nonsense. And uh, going to add a source file, call it uh, main.cpp. So um, first thing we need to include um, a few libraries. Uh, we need uh, IOStream stream just for input output to command line. Uh, we need a uh, S stream for input and output with files, and um, also Windows.h um, for the system function. Uh, which I wouldn't recommend using the system function at all, but for the sake of this tutori uh, tutorial, we need um, to use it uh, to pause the program at the end so you can see the output properly. So um, yeah, we'll need our main function. And uh, we'll start by making uh, the struct, um, which will read in from the file, which uh, stores the data for its settings. Uh, that's going to hold uh, the port. Uh, yeah, let's say this um, this one's going to hold a port and URL. Let's say you want to connect to a certain server and uh, the builder um, uh, the, uh, you can configure the builder so um, you put in your port and the uh, URL and it builds it, puts it into the stub and the stub reads that in and connects to the correct server so uh, we're going to set it to 256 um, so it just needs to be long enough to hold uh, the URL that you want really but you can set it to whatever you like um, So we'll just um, do a simple output to check that our program is running first. So this is a stub. Uh, oh yeah, um, let's do using namespace std to save a bit of time. Uh, so yeah, that compiles correctly. I also need our return zero, and we'll just. Um, pause it at the end just uh, so we can actually see our output like this um, so first thing we need to do is uh, define the file size of um, the stub uh, since I've already uh, coded this I know what uh, the file size is once it's um, done but it'll, be, it'll vary from system to system so once you've done it you'll need to change um, the file size at the end to match, uh, to match yours. Um, we'll also declare our uh, settings struct which will read in from itself. This is how it works. Um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, actually get the file name of the current file since we're going to have to read from its own file. You know what I mean? So uh, over, um, the size variable is um, as parameters of a uh, get module file name, uh, I'll do that now actually, so you can see what it takes in as a parameter. Uh, module file name, and I'm going to use a version, so it uh, simplifies things. It doesn't use um, it uses a different type of string. Uh, don't need that parameter. Um, so what it's going to uh, do with this function is um, copy the file name of the current file to a a variable, so I'll call file name, and um, it uh, reads it in with the size that you defined uh, here. So I'm going to define max path, which is predefined in uh, Windows.h, um, and we'll create our file name with the size of max path, or might as well just use size. Uh, what's this? Expression must have a constant value. Uh, Dynamic, uh, dynamically uh, allocate this. Um, and yeah, so we can uh, just output that now to check that it's worked. So it'll 
I'll come up with uh, the full path to um, our stub.exe file. Um, and now the next thing uh, we need to do is actually uh, uh, open the file. Uh, so I'm going to use um, IS stream, which is input file stream from the standard C++ library. Um, using the file name and we need it uh, in binary as well since it's an executable so um, our data what we're going to do is the builder is output um, well is store the data at the end of the executable file so what we need to do is uh, change our file pointer to the end of the file um, so this is where our this is why we need our file size um, so what you need to do to get the file size is uh, once you've compiled the program uh, you'll get a stub.exe and you'll read you'll put that file size into it not uh, not the one when once you've built it because then it'll be slightly longer with the data at the end um, so now we actually need to read the end of the, uh, from the end of the file into um, the very end of the file well if you know what I mean the end of the stub file size until the very end of the stub where it has the data in it. Um, so um, we'll read it into um, the data struct and we have to cast it to a uh, character uh, string because that's what it uh, reads it into. Um, you can actually read directly into struct, that's what we're doing. Um, and size of the setting struct um why oh, is this not working uh oh yeah yeah um we need to return a pointer to that so we put the and in front of it um and we'll close the file don't need it opened anymore um so that's pretty much the end of the stub um we'll just output the settings uh and the port to it as well So at the moment we'll just get a load of random gibberish because uh, there's no data at the end of it. This is just a stub, so well, yeah, it doesn't display anything. Uh, so yeah, that's the stub. Um, that's been the first part, and uh, in the second part I'll uh, show you how to use the builder. So thanks for watching.